Hello. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Let's, okay. Hello. Hello. Happy, happy day. <laughs> Let me make sure this is okay. Hello, everybody. Um, cool. All right. Let's set my timer on. We are a little bit early, but that's okay. I'll just say hi to a couple of people. Hello, beautiful people. Thanks for tuning in. Hello, everybody. My hair's a hot mess, but that's okay. I took an awesome nap today. A lovely day. Hope everybody's had a nice day. And it's been able to relax. It's Sunday. Had a nice, lovely Sunday roast coming up. Little Sunday dinner. David's cooking a lovely Sunday dinner. Some chicken. Oh, chicken. What else are you cooking for me, baby? Just chicken. Chicken and bacon. Chicken, chicken. wrapped in bacon with some cheese. <laughs> oh, but first, we're gonna do what we like to do best, which is do a little stretch flow. Um, let's just wait again. I think we, I think it's almost time. One minute to go. It's okay if we're a little early. Everybody else will join us in. But again, hope you guys have had a lovely day. Staying positive and um, as hard as that can be sometimes when you're in a little bit of a lockdown. Um, but as long as you're, again, doing the right things for yourselves and um, mentally and physically connecting with yourself, which is really important, especially at these times. Let's see, and it is, I think it's six o'clock now. I think it's six o'clock. So guys, welcome to your stretch flow class. And again, these classes are just general stretching, gentle stretching for the entire body, for you to release stress. Um, you know, you don't have to be flexible, and if you are flexible, that's great. But if you're a beginner at this, that's fine. It's all about connecting to your body and slowly getting to know the correct ways of stretching so you don't hurt yourself and you, again, lengthen and really stress. Because that's one of the main things that why your muscles sometimes get all tight because there's a lot of stress. Um, stretching is not hard and it's not boring. It's, it can be fun, as you can see. <laughs> I get little hugs from my, my Phoebe bear. Hello, baby. Say hi to everybody. Okay, she likes making her appearances and so does Marley. Here comes Marley. He never wants to be left out. Okay, everybody. So sitting down, nice and easy. Again, just feeling your sit bones. And every time I want you to always come back to feeling where your spine is. Come here, my love. There we go, good girl. Feeling where your spine is. Always thinking about lifting through your spine, lifting your tummies, collecting your tummies in, and long neck. And here comes Queen Betty. Queen Betty's here, thank you for joining us. Um, so shift from one side to the other, again, thinking about feeling your hip bones. Um, again, just fold your feet in front of you. Slowly, you can have your right leg in front of you or your left, whichever leg you have, we're going to be switching either way. So have a little jiggle here and just connect to yourself, connect to your body, connect to your inner self, to your spine. Okay, so from here. Just place your right hand in front, left hand behind, or vice versa, versa, and rotate around your spine. Nice and gently, okay? Be gentle, slowly rotating around, keeping your shoulders back and round. Okay? Breathing here. Breathe. Hello, baby. Good. Tummies lifted. Breathe. Try not to arch into your backs. And releasing to the other side, slowly, hello my love, left hand in front, and rotating around, breathing, breathe, and 
here, have your hands help you out. Okay, again, thinking about bringing that chest, the chest up, rolling those shoulders back and down. <clears throat> Try not to squeeze your shoulder blades together. Breathe. Again, rotate as far as you can go, breathing. Good. And release back to the center. Change your legs around. So whatever leg was in front, change to the opposite leg. And we're going to try the same thing. Again, rotate around, keeping both hips on the floor. Breathe. That's it. Change around. Hi, Marley. Good. Breathe. Keep it twisting. Breathe. And release. Other side. Change to the other side. And again, have your hands help you out. Really, really rotating around. Shoulders back, chest lifting through the center. And slowly release back. Good, now take your right arm up and left hand on your left side and slowly reach over without letting your body collapse. Stay nice and lifted, okay? Stretch as far as you can go without letting that right hip come up. Okay, both hips on the floor and try not to collapse, stay lifted. Reach, keep lengthening, keep working. Breathe, five, four, good, three. Breathe, tummies in, two, one, back to the center, release. Left arm up, slowly, place your right hand on the side and again, slowly reaching across breathing very gently. Now, if you have more range, you can totally go further as long as your hips not coming up, because this is really cute, but it's really wrong. Okay, so again, working here, you're lengthening and you're going against the opposite leg, okay? Reaching away, breathing, five, four, let this hand help you, three, two and back to the center breathe very nice slowly walk your hands forward and again tilting from your hips so again try not to go this way i want you to go forward from your hips if this is as far as you go that's fine okay but at least you're tilting from the correct place and not from your waist this is good. If you can continue going down from there, that's great. As far as you can go, breathing, long spine, have a little wiggle down here. Breathe. You can move through all of these stretches, so don't feel like it has to stay static. Breathe. Five. Four, tummies in, three, two, one, slowly walk yourself back, breathe, and change whichever leg was in front, change to the opposite leg. Slowly transition, and again, feeling your sits bones, long spine, tilt from your hips forward on the diagonal, and slowly release down. Everything is achievable in these positions, okay? As long as you take your time and as long as you're patient with your body. Breathe, slowly go down as far as you can go. If you wanna bend your elbows, that's fine. As long as you stay lifting through the abdominals, lifting up, lifting through that back. Breathe, five, four, Breathe, three, good, two, have a little wiggle down here, and one, bring it back nice and slowly, breathe, again, rolling up through your spine, gently, and come back to your center, now from here, I want you to bend your right knee in front of you, release it to the side, your left knee is going to bend on the opposite side into a 90 degree angle, okay? And you're gonna be sitting on your right hip. So gently, I want you to just rotate from one side to the other. Release the legs out, 
slowly lifting through your spine and slowly release your hips and out gently very very gently go through each and every single fiber in your muscles really feeling that stretch that release in your hip flexors in your hip rotators while staying lifted okay so try not to collapse forward even if you have to bring your legs slightly in front of you that is fine okay but what i really want you to do is to be pulling through your spine lifting your spine up and letting your body work around the spine breathe and around those hip joints slowly releasing those hips we hold a lot of tension in our hips in our lower backs in our upper backs so anything that we can do to help rotate and release all those little muscles that get tangled up will really really help you on an everyday basis okay it's not just about learning how to do splits well maybe <laughs> Good, slowly release, let's do two more. Again, thinking about pulling through your spine, keeping your chest lifted, and releasing those hips from one side to the other. Good, this is like the mini pigeon. Little mini 90 degree angle pigeon. Good, two more. Good, release. If you wanna do it without hands, you could do it without hands as well to have a little challenge as well. Last one, breathe. Nice, breathe, good, one more, and release, and stay on your left leg, good, now again face, I want you to face your hips towards your left leg, okay, 90 degree angle here, 90 degree angle in the back, and I want you to slowly tilt forward from the hips, not your waist, slowly tilt forward as far as you can go. Okay, here, hold it as far as you can. If you can go all the way down, that's brilliant. But if you need to stay up, that's perfect too, okay? Again, thinking about lifting from your tummy, up and over, breathe. You're gonna feel a lovely stretch in your butt butts, in your hip rotators, breathe. Hold it here, again, shoulders back, lifting from that tummy, lifting up and over. Breathe, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, now you can either stay here in this position or you can lengthen your leg behind, the leg that's behind, lengthen it to a full pigeon, okay? Now here again, hips nice and square, um, knee towards the floor, towards, toes down towards the floor as well. Lift your chest up. Hold it here. Now I want you to come over that leg. Breathe. Over the hips. If not, stay in the 90 degree angle. Breathe. Hold it here. If you want to go all the way down, this is a lovely stretch as well. Open up those hips. Open up that lower back. Breathe. Breathe. Five. Four. Three. Two. And slowly bring it up. Good. Bend that back knee unless you are there already. And slowly transfer your weight again to the other side. Open up. Again, going through the center and around. Breathe. Good. At a 90 degree angle here. Again, shoulders and hips nice and square. Use your arms to help you out. Okay? Use your arms right here. Tilt forward. From here again, lifting from your tummy and have your hands help you. Lift up and over, tilt forward, feel a lovely stretch. I also feel a nice stretch in my hip flexor on the left, high, left side. Feel a nice stretch on my right butt butt and my hip rotator. Again, lengthening through, long spine, long neck. Breathe. Tummy's in, four three bring it down if you can go a little bit further again without losing that lift of your spine of your tummy four three two one good come back up 
Now you can stay there. If not, lengthen the back leg into a full pigeon. Little pigeon, breathe. Good, again, thinking about keeping that leg in the front in a 90 degree angle. But again, just go one step at a time, okay? If you need to stay with both knees bent, that's fine, okay? But if you're ready for the next step, then go for it. But listen to your body. Five, if you want to go down, again, slowly four. Have a little jiggle here, have a little feel of what feels nice. Four, making sure this stays nice in a 90 degree angle, your leg that's in front. Breathe three, tummy's lifted, shoulders back. Two, breathe, open up those hips. And one, slowly bring it up. Slowly, slowly bend that back leg. And come back to the center into a little butterfly position. Nice and slowly. Breathe, you're doing really well. Okay, release here. Again, soles of your feet together, grab onto your ankles, lift your chest up as far as you can go. If your legs are here, that's fine. Okay, completely fine. Just relax there. They will slowly start listening to you and go down, I promise. Okay, just stay consistent with your stretching. If you need to put a little bit of, of a cushion on your butt butts, to create a little bit more space, please do so, because it'll help with the range of motion. Good, now here, hold it, have a little jiggle here. Feel your spine, shoulders up and around to the back. Breathe. Good, now I want you to release your right leg slowly to the side, while keeping your chest nice and lifted, long spine. Good, bring that left leg close to you. Slowly fold over one little step at a time breathe in here slowly bring it forward again if you can go all the way down that's beautiful I'm proud of you very good if you're here that's great too don't worry about it okay keep both hips on the floor slowly and again you can have a little jiggle here have a little feel of your body see how it reacts okay if you want to go all the way down go for it Four, three, two, one. Slowly bring it back up. Good. And slowly change to the other side. Bring your right leg in and left leg out. Shift. Good. Feel your sits bones. Good. Lift up from the spine, from the bottom of your spine, bottom of the tummy. Slowly walk yourself forward. Breathe, good. We're preparing you for a wide forward fold here, okay? Just opening up those hips, releasing that back, releasing those hamstrings, releasing those inner thighs. But it's mainly coming from your back. Any, any pain that you feel, any stretching, it's coming from your lower back and your glutes and your hip flexors, which are not being strengthened or lengthened, so sometimes they're just stuck there, okay? So as long as you're just giving it a little bit of mobility, a little bit of love, a little bit of attention, that's all they want, a little bit of attention. Breathe here, five, four, three, two, one, slowly walk yourself back up. Okay guys, here we go. Both legs open. And release your legs out. Nice and easy, breathe. Good, both legs out, chest lifted. Again here, thinking about keeping those hip, hip bones on the floor. Hip bones on the floor, chest lifted. Have a little wiggle here. Have a nice little wiggle, breathe. And again, slowly. Nice and slowly, have a little wiggle, lift, slowly start walking yourself forward, slowly, okay? Now what I want you to think about is engage, squeezing your butt butts. Once you squeeze your butt butts, you're engaging yourself, you're engaging your inner thighs, you're engaging your lower abdominals to start tilting forward as well. 
So it's not just a lazy stretch forward. We're always working. So engage that butt butt, bring it forward. Breathe as far as you can go. Even if you have to use cushions or whatever, or your child. <laughs> Hold you there. Breathe here, slowly bringing it down. Take your time, breathe. Lengthening through the spine, tummy's in. Breathe as far as you can go. Hold it. Flex your feet, breathe, shoulders back, tummy's in, long spine. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, slowly walk yourself back. Good. Breathe, it's not scary to do this, okay? As long as you're just committing to it, slowly bring your legs in, okay? Breathe, slowly collect to your knees, breathe, and I'm gonna turn to the side, okay? And I want you to again, think about keeping that chest lifted, lower back into the floor, bend those knees, lift your chest up, breathe, and slowly just drape over your knees. Breathe here. Again, try to pull yourself towards your knees. You feel a nice little stretch in your lower back here. Breathe, shoulders back. And slowly start rolling through your spine. Slowly roll down, one vertebrae at a time. Slowly massaging your spine, folding through the floor, breathe, five, tummies in, four, three, two, and, and release, stretch your legs out and your arms, have a little stretch there, arch your backs, have a little wiggle here, have a little wiggle. Breathe here, very nice, good, release your body. I'm just gonna wiggle around and just release your knees from one side to the other. Good, and release, breathe, four, release that lower back, three, good, two, and one, slowly bring your knees into your chest. Good, and have a little rock here as well. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, lower back into the floor. And one, good, come back to the center. And you're gonna release your knees to the side and we're gonna go into a little happy baby. Now you can either grab onto your knees, okay? Or you can grab on to your heels, wherever you can reach, okay? And I want you to keep a nice, long spine, and I want you to rock from the right side to the left, releasing those hips, opening up that spine, that lower back, it feels yummy. Tummies in, breathe, good. <laughs> this one always makes me laugh. <laughs> it's a funny move, it's cute, it's really cute, because you don't think about it. When you see a baby doing this, you don't actually think about it. But it's actually quite fun. Breathe, five, four, good guys, three, two, and one, good. Bring yourself back to the center. Hug your knees. Bring your nose to your knees or as far as you can go. Breathe. And release your legs out. And release your legs out. Have them slightly bent and you're gonna roll up starting from the top of your head. Slowly rolling up. Tuck your chin in. Chin into your chest and slowly roll up. Slowly roll up. And come back to the center. 
breathe and just fold your legs in front of you. Have a little breather here again. Have a little wiggle. Center yourself. Good. Bring your right arm up and place it on your left temple. And tilt to the side. Breathe. Nice and smoothly. Breathe. Five. Four. Make sure you feel your tummy, your back, on your six bones. Three. Two, one, release, other side, left arm up, and bring it across your right temple, and tilt, breathe, five, four, three, two, one, good, and release. Good. Now I want you to look to your right on a diagonal, look down to your chest and hold it here, place your hands behind your head and hold, five, four, three, two, one and release, good, back to the center, now look to your left and on a diagonal look down to your chest. Bring your left hand behind and gently just put a little bit of pressure on it. Feel a nice stretch. And release. Good. Now place both hands behind your head and look down. And breathe here. Five, four, Three, two, one, and release. Good. Place your hands on your chest. Lift your chin up. And hold. Five, four, three, two, one, and back to the center. Arms out to the side. Open up your arms. Big, 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 and hug yourself. And have a little wiggle here. Good shoulders down. Have a little wiggle. Breathe. And again, open up your arms. Stretch those arms out, out, open, open, open. And hug yourself. Good. We're going to do one more. Breathe and open up. Breathe. Chest lifted. Open up that chest. And release. Good. And hug yourself, shoulders down, little wiggle, and release, arms up, take a deep breath in, and release down, release, good, take a deep breath in, one more time, lift up, good, one more, and deep breath in, and hold it, hold it, and release, good job guys, thank you so much for joining me today, Mwah! Good job. I'm always so proud of you all. Hi, Betty. Betty's joined us. Well done, everybody. Um, again, it's always a pleasure to have you all. Um, our Facebook was, wasn't working for a little bit. Um, it probably paused, but uh, no, it, it was going in and out. But thank you so much for joining me. We have much, so much, much more coming up uh, later on today. Um, we have at 7 o'clock, we have Emma. Please catch her. She's reading Matilda. And the rest of the schedule is on the our home book, oh, home book page. <laughs> it's on our home book page. Our home festival pages on, um, on Facebook and Instagram. Obviously, I don't remember what's coming up after Emma. <laughs> so that's why. Baby, what's after Emma? Yeah, Christina and Marius. Christina and Marius, yes, at 7.30. Yeah, and then Camilla, of course. Camilla is at 8.45. <laughs> I'm in a sleepy mode already. I think I over-relaxed myself. But, and I usually have David to, to, to say all the, all the stuff. But anyways, guys, great, great job today. I'm so proud of you. Again, stretching is not just about gaining flexibility. It's about releasing all those little muscles releasing all that stress, releasing all that anxiety and to help you calm, 
calm yourself down a little bit more. It's more about relaxing as well, okay? So don't feel like you have to be at a certain point, okay? Just give yourself time. Let yourself, let your body develop slowly, okay? Let it catch up with you. Um, have a lovely night, and I will see you guys tomorrow at 10 a.m. A little workout, a little butt butt workout. We'll see what we're gonna do tomorrow. I might change things up, but we'll see. Uh, see you all tomorrow and have a lovely, lovely night. Stay kind, take, take care of yourselves, be positive, and um, I'll see you guys soon. Bye, Facebook. Bye, YouTube.